Hello and welcome to another video. This time we're going to be looking at the Sony 55 to 210 mm telephoto lens. Okay, so let's have a look at what's in the box. Open it up from new. You will get nicely wrapped lens. There we go, the lens hood wrapped separately. Lens cap and rear lens protector already there to protect it. Anything else in the box, just your usual manuals and that's it, but what else would you need? So pretty pretty comprehensive, there you see lens hood. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel for more reviews of camera lenses and gear. So here we go, here's the lens. This has got the, the lens hood on it currently. That comes off like that, so you can see the lens there. It's, it's quite long, it's kind of got a decent bit of chunk to it, and then as you saw in the little intro there, the barrel extends from within. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this lens. See here, it's the aluminium body and the inner barrel, which is the zoom barrel, if I can get that to pop out. There we go, that's made of plastic. There it has the lens lens cap, so you can see here the camera stats, E-mount 4.5 to 6.3, 55mm to 210 with optical steady shot, which is one of the good points about this camera here, is the minimum focusing distance of 1 meter or 3.29 feet. And the number 49 there is the size of the filter ring, which is also where you would attach the lens hood. So the lens hood out of the box, see here. Fit it on like that to use. And then either put it in your bag or store it like that for traveling. Obviously, with the with the lens cap on, also the zoom barrel extends from the front. The main body being aluminium and the inside being plastic. And then at the front here, there is just a smaller focusing ring. Both of these are quite smooth. The build quality seems very good, um, and it is reasonably heavy. It's certainly a lot heavier than the kit lens or the smaller lenses, but it's probably going to be considerably lighter than most other telephoto lenses. So this lens costs about 180 pounds, which I think translates to about $200 on Amazon. Now that's quite expensive, especially as I'm trying to focus on more, more budget lenses and gear, but this is one of the cheaper options for a telephoto lens. Now I've had a bit of a look around on eBay and you can get this lens secondhand for about £120, so that's a little bit more realistic. I understand that's still quite a lot of money. This is one of the cheaper options for a telephoto lens, so definitely worth considering. And what's a great feature for that price is that as this is a Sony produced lens, it does have optical steady shot in it, which is great. I've gone over that previously in the look back on the Sony A5100 in general. It does mean that your shots and videos will be much more steady than if you're using a third party lens, which does not have optical steady shot built in. Also, because this is a Sony lens, it does have autofocus built in. And I do find that this autofocus is fairly decent, but not perfect. I find that especially at the longer focal ranges of 180 beyond up to 210, that you can really struggle to differentiate exactly what you're trying to focus on, even when inputting manually through the screen, just selecting where you want to autofocus on. It's not too much of a problem, but it is worth considering. I find this lens is great for outdoor photography, perhaps if you're going to the zoo to take photos of animals or birds in your in your garden or at the park or something like that, it's great. It's not. It's not an epically long zoom range, but it is much, much more than you will get from the kit lens, for example, and a lot of the shorter focal length lenses. Now, the price you pay for that is that it is obviously considerably longer than the kit lens, and especially when extended, it is much longer. It's also, I wouldn't say heavy, but it, again, because of the size, it is considerably heavier than the kit lens. But to be honest, for, for a lens this size, it seems it's made of it's very robust feeling. I'd actually say, you know what, that isn't too heavy, but you will find that if you've got the camera, especially if you're using the A5100 like me, mounted on a smaller tripod with this lens, it might just be a little bit front heavy because there's a lot of weight towards the front of the camera then. So you need a much sturdier tripod.
Now what's great about this lens is that it is pretty sharp for the price. Again, because you're at, this is the lower end of the price that you're gonna be able to pay, especially for a new telephoto lens, and then if you get it second hand, you might get it for around 120 pounds. It does mean you can zoom in much closer to your subjects compared to the, the kit lens, because it does have a magnification range of up to 3.8 times, which is, which is really impressive for a lens of this price. Now you will find that it is, as mentioned, pretty sharp, but you'll notice in the edges that it does start to lose a little bit of sharpness in the corners of your shots, which is forgivable, especially if you're not doing any pixel peeping, as they call it, where you're really analysing things closely. But it might not be quite up to scratch if you were at a professional level. But to be honest, I think it does mean that you might not want to use this lens for absolutely everything. But I do find that because the range is so good, I think the pros outweigh the cons a lot. Because the range on this camera is 55 to 210, you will find that it's not really suitable for shooting subjects that are much closer to you. So I would call this an outdoor lens, really, taking shots of things outside. You can get really interesting portraits. If you're shooting portraits outside rather than inside, you'll get great, especially at the longer focal ranges, again, from about 180 to 210. You can get a really nice close-up shot of someone's face, and then the background will be really nicely cre creamy and distorted bokeh as they call it which makes the shots look really professional it also reduces the small impact of any blurriness around the edge of the shot because that would be within your bokeh anyway and that would make it basically unnoticeable so overall i'd say this is a great second lens which adds something significantly different compared to the kit lens whereas you use the kit lens for st stuff like this which i'm recording now and um, you would use the telephoto lens going out and about taking photos of things you can't necessarily get that close to or you need to zoom in on as I said great for portraits it's not perfect but it's pretty good and it's certainly the cheapest Sony telephoto lens that you'll get with optical steady shot and autofocus so from me I would say it is recommended I've been using it for maybe four or five months now and I've had again it's not for every situation but I found I had pretty decent success with it I hope you agree with some of the shots that I've shown as an example here if you have used a lens with which you think is a better alternative to this and um, please let me know in the comments whether that's a Sony one or a third-party one suitable for email I'd be interested to find out and potentially do a comparison in the future but that's it from me for now if you've enjoyed please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time cheers